From the mob riots, political agendas, to control pandemics, is America really united? Here are 10 laws in some of the states in North America that are quite dumb, unnecessary, or weird. Welcome to One Away. Watch this video as we give you some state laws that are quite outdated, and with some even deadly harmful. Arkansas must pronounce state name correctly. If you're not from around these parts, there's a likelihood that you've mispronounced this state name before. It's really pronounced as Arkansas. The final S is silent. If you plan to visit this state, make sure to get this pronunciation right, as it's strictly prohibited by this state code to mispronounce the name. Connecticut, pickles must bounce. If you've ever wanted to sell some pickles in a place like Connecticut, make sure they bounce. This regulation seemed to have stemmed from an article in 1948 of two pickle packers that sold unfit pickles. Since then, Connecticut's Food and Drug Commissioner has labeled the need for control. And, the standard is a pickle bounce, from the height of one foot. If your product doesn't meet that, you're in for quite a pickle yourself. Georgia, can't eat fried chicken with utensils. It's customary for Europeans to dine with forks and knives when it comes to meat. And if you're into those, the state of Georgia won't have that. After all, it's been a law turned city code since 1961 that it's illegal to eat chicken with anything other than your fingers. In fact, a tourist was arrested for it, back in 2006. If the folks in Georgia say finger licking good, they mean it. Indiana, proper black cat etiquette on Friday the 13th. It's mandatory that all black cats must wear belts on Friday the 13th. This was introduced back on October 13, 1939. And it's been there as a measure to alleviate mental strain on the populace. It probably makes no sense. But to folks around, it's as important as anything. Kentucky, no duels. It's not about poultry for this one. But a rule here in Kentucky is quite outdated. Apparently, all public officials and attorneys in Kentucky must swear an oath that not one of them had a duel with deadly weapons. It makes sense that this noble oath took place in 1848. What makes poor sense is that to avoid duels, people turn to street brawls instead. Mississippi, no hold down on big gulp size. It's understandable that America is a land that makes inalienable rights a common theme. Thanks to the anti-Bloomberg bill, sizes of consumables like Big Gulps were not bound by restriction rules. The state of Mississippi made it an official state law, and it's front and center. Thanks to that, one of three people in the Mississippi are obese. That's like state government support for an establishment like the Heart Attack Grill Restaurant. New Jersey, no murder while you wear a bulletproof vest. This law is a head scratch. Yes, it's nice to know that it's against the law to murder someone. But, in New Jersey, you get double if you choose to wear a bulletproof vest as you murder someone. It even becomes first-degree murder, in fact. It's a puzzle that either is symbolic or dumb, the latter seems the case. New York, sales tax for sliced bagels. In New York, you either order that bagel whole or the sellers make extra for your bunch. That's right, uncut bagels are exempt from tax. But, if you want it sliced, toasted, or served with cream cheese, you get an 8 cent tax for that bagel, that's the law, so choose wisely. Oklahoma, no wrestles with bears. In the state of Oklahoma, you can't wrestle a bear. For those things, you'd probably head off to Russia or other old world countries. If you make it happen in Oklahoma, you'd break the law. Then again, who in their right mind would wrestle a bear? If that would happen more often, the bear would break more laws on average. Washington, no Sasquatch poaches. The state of Washington makes it clear, Sasquatches are an endangered species. Back in 1991, Whatcom County had made a declaration of roughly 1 million acres of land for the protection and refuge area of the Sasquatch. They even gave it a name, Bigfoot Sanctuary. The lawmakers thought much in advance that people would probably come in the hunts for a Sasquatch. In some other areas, a $1,000 fine is tagged on you if you poach for a Sasquatch.